I had mine, Lord. I said, Lord, it's off early to preach, but if I wait after a while, there might not be no preacher there. So you got to preach when the preacher gets here. Ain't he good? Glory, hallelujah. You know, when filled up with his spirit, his love, that love, that's his spirit. Man, you get the love and peace. You're going to overflow. You get the love and peace. Man, people don't know what this is all about. You get the, you get to notice in yourself the love and people and how you're acting around people. What you're saying around people. What you're doing. Handle, how you're handling your words. How you're handling your actions around people. You'll notice that if there's love coming out of you or if there's envy or if there's strife coming out of you. And when you notice love coming out of you, Praise God, and you can look, and I ain't a bragging, it's all about Jesus, because I once had hate. Everywhere I went, I had hate. Everything in me, I had hate. I mean, praise God, because of Jesus, I got love tonight. I've got love for him, the one that hung upon the cross that loved me first. Do you realize somebody loved you first, lost? Do you realize somebody loved you first, saved? Do you realize that he loved you, praise God? What time you was a sinner, what time you was a trampling on his name, what time you was out doing your sinful worldly things, he still loved you. He still hung out upon the cross knowing the day that you was going to be born, knowing that the hour, praise God, that you was going to enter into this world, knowing every cuss word, knowing every time you was going to take a drink, every time you was going to pop a pill, every time you was going to shoot a needle, he still loved you. And he died upon a cross for you that you can be saved this very day. Praise God. He didn't slack off because of what you've done. You didn't have to do nothing to prove yourself to this God. Praise the Lord. He still said, I'm going to do it for him. I don't care. Praise the Lord. If you never go to him in your lifetime, he still did it for you. Still did it for you. He never slacked off. Never stopped. He loved you. Plumb to the end. It wasn't no bitter end either. It was a love end. Praise the Lord. He went all the way, rose from the tomb for you, rolled that stone away. Every stone. I heard a song the other day. Every stone was turned over. But there was one he left rolled away. Left it rolled from the door. Come out of there. Victorious so you could live. So you could have this day live it more abundantly. So you could have life. So you can love, praise the Lord, like he said you could. He said, because he lives, you can live also. You don't have to live in this dead situation that you're in. You don't have to live dead all of your life. You're a dead man if you ain't got Jesus, because in him is life. And you'll not find life in another, praise the Lord. You've got to come to Jesus if you want life What time you're here. That praise the Lord. We don't have to die to have life over there. We can have it here. There's a kingdom come to this place. That the kingdom come, that his will would be done in earth as it is in heaven. Praise the Lord. And it's going to happen right here. What do you mean, preacher? And you need to be the way heaven I needs you to be, praise God. From the point of hell would I act when I get in heaven, praise the Lord. Ask yourself that question. How would I be in his gates? In his courts at all times. How would I be when I enter into the glory land? Who will I be when I enter into the glory land? I'm going to be Christ-like. I'm going to be like him. But I praise the Lord. Because he said I'm going to have a body like an unto him. I'm going to be like an unto him. And he don't want it just then. He wants it now. He ain't waiting for us to get up there to make us perfect. He's wanting something to happen right now. He's wanting us, praise the Lord, to hand some stuff over. Give it to him. The anger, the envy, the strife, the arguing, the bickering, the calling, praise the Lord, the walking off, no talking. Praise God, he give us a voice. He give us pens. He give us papers. He give, praise God, we got, he got no reason to be against one another. We need to be for God and be for him. And what is his love? I don't care who it is. I got a brother right here. But what me and him it is in Christ is much different than what we are in the blood. Praise God, because no matter if me and him, in the blood, praise God, we're still brothers in Christ now. I'm to love him, praise the Lord. No matter what, he can't make me mad enough to stay away from him. He can't make me mad enough not to talk to him or love him or want to help him, praise God. Why? Well, because I didn't make Jesus mad enough to turn his face on me and to do me, praise God. He went all the way even though 
He knowed everything I was going to do. He knowed every sin before I done it. But I still done it. And he knows and he loves me. But people need to get something in. Need to get something in. Praise the Lord. Can I get this quick? I got to find it. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God. Well, you know, when that son that child was born, that son was given. And he was uh, the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. All of that. that son, and the government. We got the government. That hit me. The government is upon his shoulders. Not our, it's upon his shoulders. He is his government. And that government is going to reign forever. That government's going to be forever. Not anybody else's, praise God. Bill ain't got nothing in this. Obama ain't got a thing in this, praise the Lord. It's the Christian, it's the God people. It's the people that's following him. Line upon line. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Here a little and there a little. God people is going to go to heaven. We're going to step out and be for him. Love. Hashtag love wins. I hope he's got an eye cloud behind him when he comes. And Obama sees it, praise the Lord. Hashtag love wins. Love's always going to win. And we're going to have it if we're his people. We're going to have it. It's going to stop. Things build up in us just a little bit. We're going to take it, cut her out. We're going to cut it down. We're going to notice and we're going to pick up that axe that the Holy Ghost has given us. And we're going to cut that out of our life. No hate belongs here. It don't belong here in my house. Hate don't. Jealousy don't belong here. And envy and strife don't belong here. I can't have that in my house. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is not in there. If that is in there, you can't have the good that God wants to give you when that's in there. It's occupied with too much. People's got too much occupying the house and God can't stretch out. He can't stretch out in them and get what he wants out of that house. They've already got rooms filled up. Hands over here touching this, lips to getting this. Praise God, and their feet are walking into places that they ain't supposed to look in or their eyes are watching stuff they ain't supposed to watch. He ain't got room, praise God, in a house like that. We must have taken more to find. We got to do away with the lesson of this class and take up a fulfill, praise God, what he wants to fulfill. And we can leave. That's where life comes in. That's where life. Lord, I trust in you. How am I going to get that trust, preacher? You've got to read. You've got to study. If you can't read and you can't study, you listen to faith. If you find somewhere preaching the Word of God and you go to it every time the door's open, you take and you praise God, get there somehow. You're going to get hungry when you get this. You're going to get hungry when you get this. When you get the praise God, I got to praise. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. There ain't nothing no better than my Lord. John, I believe. John. He said, There one was preferred before me, cometh after me. Whose shoe latches that I'm not worthy to loosen? And he shall baptize. See, John baptized with water. But he said, He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. We've got to be baptized with the Holy Ghost with fire. The Bible says that the, his fan is in his hand and he's thoroughly purged his floor. That fan is going to put it away from your life, Jason. All the things that's wrong in your life, his fan is in his hand. He's thoroughly purging his floor in the chaff and the weed is gathered into his heart and the chaff is casting into the fire. Praise God, all that stuff that's in us and on us it's got to be casted into the fire. And we're going to have a tribe about it. I was thinking about a God drive. Praise God, we got to have a God drive about it. There's going to be something in us to drive us, praise God. We ain't a drive with him. He's going to drive us. This is his vehicle. This is his, praise God. And I want him to drive me. He's going to take me to church. He's going to take me, praise God, to visit. He's going to take me and move me when I need moved to witness to somebody. He's going to drive this car. This is his. He's in this. 
My body is a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. It's my reasonable service. Lord, get in thee. Lord, take and take care of thee. He'll take care of it. Don't you know that? Anybody got a car in here they like that they depend on every day? You're going to take care of that car. You're going to do things. You're going to change the oil. You're going to check the fluids, and you're going to make sure things are maintained in that. If you care, well, glory. God cares about this. When you come across something in here, and it gives you a little bit of check, when he checks something in your life, you better move up to it if it's low. You better think and do something if it's low. You better take care of it and dip it in a bud before it grows. Too much in your life. It may take so far. You know what happens? When a huge joint comes out, find that grouse yet feels crazy. Or it may go to your gas tank. may go to the bottom of your bed. I may even hurt the brain pretty bad. The main structure. May even hurt it. Maintenance. God's going to make it this. He's going to take care of this. But I'll tell you what. Let me take it. Lord, glory. The Holy Ghost and Father. We're going to have a drought about us. Glory, hallelujah. The boys were sent to go over into the land of Canaan. There were 12 tribes. There was 12 spies. They were sent in to search out the land of Canaan to see what was over there. See how if they had strongholds, see if they had tents, just see exactly to search them out, praise the Lord, because they was told by God they could have this place. This was their place if they wanted it, praise the Lord, and they went in to check it out to see what fruits they had, praise the Lord, to see what food they had. If it's really right, praise God, what God promised them is it over there, praise the Lord, and they went in, and the strongholds that caught my eye, there's a strongholds that you can be protected by. There is, praise the Lord, I know God, these strongholds has got to be released from us, but there's got to be a stronghold also in your life that you can get with, that you can, and that is God. And his word, that's the only stronghold that should be holding you down and keeping you anchored. If any other thing, praise the Lord, it's got a stronghold on you. You need to take and release it in the name of Jesus and let it go. Praise the Lord, because that stronghold ain't the right one. These boys was going in. If the plan went through, they was going in to take out these strongholds. They was going to do away with those strongholds. And praise the Lord, that's what the Lord wanted to do. Your promise. You're promised and you're given. Praise the Lord if you want it. Not just to die and when it's going to be over yonder. I'm talking about right here and today. You can have something in your life if you want it. You can turn it down all you want to, but that don't mean it's gone. It's still there and it's, your, it's for you to say yes or it's for you to say no. And you've got to accept it or leave it, praise the Lord. It's up to you tonight. But I'm telling you, praise the Lord, they went in and searched this out. And praise the Lord, they come back. And I'm telling you what, they were two old boys excited. They were two old boys, praise the Lord. Oh, Caleb, they started giving, praise the Lord, what they saw over there. And, man, they brought back some big old grapes. They brought back some pigs, praise the Lord. They brought back some pomegranates over there. And they took and was holding them, praise God, the Bible, the way I can vision it, that they had the grapes upon a, a stick. One of them holding this side, one of them on that side was how big they was, how luscious they was. Oh, that's the land that I'm going to. Praise the Lord, I'm going to the land. They said, and it's true that the milk and honey floweth over there. Praise God, that's where we're going. Praise God. And then the elders spoke up. They're too big. We can't do nothing with them. Started naming off what tribes was over, what people was over, how big they was. And old Caleb, praise the Lord. Old Caleb, praise God. He said, it's ours. Let's go get it. Let's take and go get it. Praise the Lord. They kept saying, no, no. They're too big. We can't do it. Then they even got over to Joshua. Joshua said, the Lord is with us. Joshua said, the Lord is with us. The Holy Ghost is far. The Lord is with us. We can go in and get this. We can take this down. We can do this. Praise the Lord. But they kept right on. No, no, no. Joshua and Caleb. They ripped their clothes. They wanted it so bad. They had a God driving them, and they wanted that over there because their God wanted it, them to have it. And he promised it to them. I want, how many in here wants the promises of God? Everything that he said I can have, I want it tonight. But you've got to have this God driving. It's got to be in there, praise the Lord, or you ain't going to get it. It's going to be like the rest of us. Too big. People in here looking at 
stuff says too much. I can't handle it. You're putting God this big is what you're doing. you got to make God bigger than that. Bigger, magnify him in your life. How do I do that, praise Lord? Start lifting his name up. Start studying his word and figuring him out. Start calling him up on his word saying, Lord, you said you'd never leave me nor forsake me. Do what Moses did, praise the Lord. When the children of Israel started coming against them, praise the Lord, and saying they wanted to go back to Egypt, what did Moses and Aaron do? They hit their face and they spoke to the Lord for them. When they wanted to destroy, when God wanted to destroy, Moses was reminded, you can't do that. All these other nations will see that. What has happened? And you won't be real to them, is what he was trying to tell them. You won't be real to them. If you destroy this, this is your people. The ones you're going to bring out. Praise the Lord. Remind him, take it, call him out. But here's the thing about calling God out. You better have the goods. You better be where you're supposed to be. If you ain't where you're supposed to be, I guarantee whatever's taking you over your life is going to take on over. Because you're calling him out, you ain't got a house worthy, praise the Lord, to be calling him out. And praise the Lord, you're living a life that he can see of sin. And you're coming to church living like a devil and taking being a pew filler. And praise God, if you're going to call him out, you better be one of his. Better be one of his. If you ain't one of his, you best start searching the book. You best, you best start straightening some things out in your life. You best start looking around. If there's anybody in here tonight, don't feel like you're that smart to think of some of heaven. You better do something tonight. If you don't feel like tomorrow that you can write and some, some in heaven for your wife or for your husband or for your kids, I got up this morning, I was laying over time my wife, she was asleep. I was just saying, Oh Lord, take care of her. Oh Lord, watch over today. And I said, What in the world does that sound like? Sound like I'm begging somebody. And he said, you got my name, son, in the name of Jesus. She's going to have a good day. In the name of Jesus, I pronounce, I summon heaven that health will be on her today. I summon heaven uh, that she's going to be a good wife today. I summon heaven uh, that she's going to be a good mother today. Did I have to yell? No. Nope. Just a quiet prayer. Mama never woke up. Everything was hurt. Everything was taken care of. Come home to a happy wife. Come home to supper on the table. Come to church tonight. Praise the Lord. Filled up with the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, praise the Lord. He'll take and fill you if you want to be filled. He'll baptize you with that Holy Ghost. And that far, you'll get that God drive in you. And it's going to take your life the way it's supposed to be. The hate that you got in your life is going to flee. Praise God. The jealousy that you got in your life, it's going to flee. Ever praise God. Come into the church and take them worrying about everybody that ain't here. It's going to go. You're just going to be happy you're here and that you're growing and it's between you and him. Praise the Lord. There ain't nothing going to drag this boy down. There ain't nothing going to drag the church of God down. None of us. going to figure out. Praise God, I got to make it. You got to say that yourself. You got to make it. No, I got to make it too. You got to make it. Their car don't pull in the driveway, they missed out. Huh? They didn't get to hear this message, they missed out. That's all right. They can suck it up for yourself, get in a flowing in your pants, what you don't understand, study about it and keep it, praise the Lord. Don't let go up and put it off just because you don't understand it. Because when you do understand what I'm saying or what I'm doing, praise God, you're going to understand, praise the Lord, and you're going to cry. And you're going to praise one morning. I woke up many mornings with messages in his mind, praise God. And him give me the understanding to it. And I just praise him and glorify his name because he answered my prayer. I want to know that God drive will keep you in that book. That God drive will keep you from killing your neighbor's cat. That God drive, if you do kill your neighbor's cat, you'll go tell him. That God drive, praise the Lord. We'll take and have you to be good. Everybody, praise the Lord. And you won't envy, you won't boast, you won't be proud, you won't be self-seeking, you'll take and love. Praise the Lord without thinking about yourself. You'll put it all on the line to see your brother take and be lifted up and to be put ahead of you, praise God. It won't bother you if your brother or sister is up here and you're down here, praise God, just happy to be a little toe, just happy to be just a little arm, just happy. To be in this kingdom. Happy to be in this kingdom. I'm telling you. If you don't 
scared that you're going to die. You'll die if you don't get baptized. But the Holy Ghost, when we fall, you're going to die. How do you know that? These five, these other ten that went in, after God already said that they wasn't going to go with him. That's what he promised. They wasn't going to go with him. What did they do then? They saddled up. We'll go. Moses said, God ain't with you. Huh? Think about it. God ain't with you. You can't do nothing unless it's God is with you. They know this. They seen the Red Sea parted. They seen the manna fall from heaven. They seen the water come out of the rock. They know God was with Moses. And as long as they was with him, they was all right. Praise the Lord. And they touched and said, we'll go. We'll go. They got the top of him. They was all killed. They was all killed. Over time, all them spies were killed of those ten tribes that were sinning. Only two left. Who was that? Caleb and Joshua. Why? They come back with a report, not of doubt, not of fear, but they come back with love. They come back with a sound mind saying, that's mine, I want to take it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do this. Praise the Lord. No Joshua, if I did my math right, he's about 45 years old when all this happened. 40 or 45 years old. I tried, I tried to do the math. But he took it. Oh, Joshua, later on over in the book, he said he knows God. Jesus, it was 40 years later. 40 years later, he said, I've not lost my strength. He didn't lose no strength. Here a man, if my math was right, he's 85 years old. Still leading them, huh? Still leading them, still taking care of things. Still doing 85 years old, had all of his strength. Why? Because he come out and said, let's go get it. It's ours. Praise the Lord. He kept that drive. Do you think when the elders stood up and said, no, you think that stopped that far in him? Do you think that turned him around? It better not you either. When they stand and tell you you're wrong, that drive is going to be in there. When you get this Holy Ghost uh, and this far, uh, it's going to stay in you. Uh, they ain't no hell or high water going to keep you away from this kingdom. No, it's going to kiss is yours. Don't let no nothing take it. It ain't nothing going to take it. Why? Because God's with you. God is with you. Remember that. But if God ain't with you, you're going to be killed. Huh? If you started this way and you've turned back, God ain't with you. Don't try to do it. He's not with you. You need to come back to him. Be filled with it. Praise the Lord. Get your day. Get some more days on this earth. I really believe when people give their life to the Lord, they've extended their life. They have. Why? Because you're going to walk in the ways of righteousness. You ain't going to be doing the things. You ain't going to be putting the things into your body that you was. You ain't going to be going into the places that you was. You're going to be a new creature in Christ Jesus. You're going to change from that moment. Why? Because he first loved you. And he's wanting that drive in. He's wanting that drive in you. He's wanting to be able to drive you. He's wanting to sit in the driver's seat of your life. He's wanting to not just scoop Satan over. He won't scoop Satan over in his house and say, I got a little place here I want to sit. No, when he comes in, he's going to clean house. He's going to take Satan and throw every one of his toys, every one of his gadgets right out there and say, there ain't no room for you. You ain't got nothing in this house. I'm with him now. God is with you then, and he's going to take care of you. But if you ain't got him in there, he's hearing you cry. Huh? I don't cut him short that he can't hear. He's hearing it, but you got his hands tied. He can't answer you. When you lay there at night and lost at the, at the door and you say, God, just let me wake up in the morning. He can hear you. But he's got, he's got his hands tied. He ain't got control of your life yet. You still got him out of the house. You still got him standing out there knocking. He ain't in there now. He can't do nothing with it. Praise the Lord. But what, what will that do? What will that do? When you lay there tonight, you say, God, just keep me tomorrow. You'll just be a little bit more careful tomorrow if you make it up. 
not how he is from experience. If you make it through that night, you'll be a little bit more careful tomorrow. Huh? Why? You remember that prayer last night. You remember that prayer. You woke up. Whether you want to believe it or not, you was thankful you woke up. You was glad that you spoke to a God. And praise the Lord, and you woke up. But still, I'm telling you, he ain't in the wheel. He ain't got control of your life. He can't do nothing for you until you get him in there. He's got to be in there. And he's standing out. Everywhere you're at, he's standing out the door. <laughs> Let me in. I want in. I can fix this. This ain't nothing too big for me. Ain't nothing, praise the Lord. I placed the stars in the sky. I made the blue, you see. I made every cloud up there. I made the seas part in this land that you're walking on. And praying, it ain't nothing too big for your God. He can do it. Don't give him, praise God. Don't take him, put your God too little. Don't make him too little. He's not a little God. He's good to us. We're going to have to learn. Without this Holy Ghost and power, we ain't going to have that drive. That God drive. There's got to be some drive. Drive in people to be wanting to work for the Lord, to do something for the Lord. I know church ain't everything, but it's something. It's to be here for. It's to take and be be present here and take and get up. There are some people without church two or three weeks, they're lost. That's just plain and simple. They're out. Countdown's over. They've already went back to their old ways. Done with it. I can't make it no more. I can't go there. They do. They won't take it. They've got to have that drive. If somebody's wanting to live, you take and let somebody grab you around the head and take the breath from you and you watch you kick. You'll do everything within your body to get your breath back. This is the same thing. This is your breath. He breathed the breath that made you a living soul. This is what you need to be a breathing and take it into your body. This is what you ought to be kicking and screaming for and taking every day and putting it inside of you. This word, praise the Lord, that he's alive. So you have life in you. That's what you've got to do. You'll do that if you care, if you want to live. You want to live that drive. We'll take you places. You won't ignore that drive. You won't ignore it. When it comes, and nothing's going to stop you. Nothing. A, a snicker, a laugh, a roll of the eye, a tongue stuck out, a frown, it ain't going to stop you. i got to do it for Jesus. I'm doing it for him because he first loved me. He died for me. I'm going all the way for him the way he did for me. All the way. Peter hung upside down, crucified upside down. James killed with the sword. All them boys killed for the name of Jesus. Went all the way for Jesus. And I don't claim to this uh, if they stand, I don't claim to do nothing less than to die for the name of Jesus. You're crazy. It's all right. Call me crazy. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to have my feet down in that water to sing about with you. When I get there, I'll be sitting there kicking for Jesus. Huh? I won't be thinking about you, oh crazy preacher. Huh? That's all right. But I won't be thinking about you. Why? Because I'd cry. The Bible tells me there ain't going to be no tears in that city. He going to dry everything up when I walk in. I'm going to be new, praise God. We're going to be a new, praise the Lord. I won't be able to think sadness or think nothing, praise God. Get in his presence, you won't want to. And that stands for right here. Right here in this world. You get in his presence, you won't want to do wrong. When it comes by your way, son, uh -uh, if you try that and it fails me, the devil ain't got no room in that. I got Jesus, and I'm going to do it his way. Yeah, it may cost me a little bit. I might have to throw away that. I might have to do away with that a little bit more. But I still have to, all right, I'm going on with Jesus. I need my life saved. I need you to live. What would you give if the doctor said $100,000 you can live? You would bum. You would scratch. You would scrape. You would get every loan that you could. Praise God to keep life. And this ain't even the life that you need. This ain't even the life that you need. You'd do it all to try to breathe one more breath. 
see your family one more time. Huh? To hug them one more time. But we're telling you tonight you can live eternity with them. If you'll get this life in you that come from heaven, if you'll eat of this bread. He said he was the bread. Praise the Lord, the bread that your fathers eat in the wilderness. They're dead. He said, I am the true bread that come down from heaven. You've got to eat of him and drink of his blood, and you'll never thirst. Praise the Lord. You'll never get it if you don't come to him. <laughs> you got to have it. It's dry. If you ain't got it. drive you got that brings you out to prayer meeting, don't you stop. Don't you stop. You got to keep coming. You got to come. Why? Not only for me, not only for the Lord, but for your family, for your friends that sees you leave, sees you come back, sees you growing every day, seeing, praise the Lord, you're doing better and better and better, seeing that anger leave and that praise God and that love be built and that joy, that whistle and that snap in your stamp that you're going to have every day. Praise God in the long suffering that you're going to be with them. And that's what they're going to see. That's what I'm talking about. Them boys was going to get that honey, that milk and honey to flow. They was going to get them big grapes, them big figs and big pomegranates. Oh, my God, they wanted it so great. Don't you want it? Think about that tonight. If you ain't got it, don't you want love? Oh, this is what I'm talking about. That you can have this is where this tribe will get you. It'll get you that love. Man, I want to love everybody like you're talking to Richard. This is the only way to get us in Jesus. He's the only way in him because he went there. That's the only way you can have it is because he went there. He first loved you. Praise God and laid down his life freely so you could live. And he raised on the third day. And you're going to have joy in that. Don't you want joy? Are you sad? Don't you want joy in your life? Don't you want peace? I want to lay down, preacher, and I want to take you to sleep one night without hurting, without thinking wrong things, without having to go through my day and see who I done wrong or what I did wrong. I want that peace, preacher. Got to come to him. Got to come to him. I can't give it to you. I can tell you all about it, but I can't give it to you. You want the love. You want the joy. You want the peace. If you want long suffering, I do you. You want long suffering. Man, there's people get so mad at their neighbors and their friends. They just do away with them. They don't want nothing to do with them. Don't you want long suffering for people? Now that you can see them come in this way. That's what God will do for you. He'll give you gentleness. He'll give you gentleness. Husband, do you want gentleness towards your wife? Friend, do you want gentleness towards your friend? How huh? do you want this to save your life? Do you want that sort of, do you want goodness? That you know it, praise God, that you can walk around and people notice you as being a good man. Notice you as being a good woman. Know that what you do is good, praise God, that they don't have to fear you or take and be worried about being harmed by you. That goodness that reigns in your life, that they don't have to worry about that, old boy. He's a boy of God. He's a man of God. We don't have to worry about him. He's a good man. Good man of God. Don't you want that? Don't you want faith? Gene told you before service. The only way to please God is in faith. Don't you want faith that He is and that He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him? Don't you want faith? It's the only way you're going to get it is come to Jesus. It's the only way you're going to get it. And that's supernatural. I like it when that supernatural happens. Huh? You hardly ever see that. Right at the altar. But we got to witness it here a while back. We got to hear testimony of it. Praise the Lord. There's a change. There's super, something supernatural happening. Praise God that we didn't see, but we all felt. We felt it. We know that there was another one born into the kingdom. That there's another one come in, praise the Lord. And it's good. And that faith. I got faith in that. Let me tell you tonight. If you got to see it and touch it, you'll not make it going this way. 
I'm telling you. Now it'll see you and touch you. It will. It'll see you and touch you. Better believe he's watching you. He better believe when you're doing his work, he's going to bless you. He's going to touch you. Praise the Lord. But you're going to have to get out of that. Why? Because I don't want to eat anything I can touch. I don't want to walk up to some fish and say, take me, pray for me. Take me to heaven. I don't want to have to go to a pastor every Sunday. Say, here, I need, I need prayer. I need to, man, this is just, I, I ain't saying don't come to me and ask for prayer. I'm just saying, praise the Lord, don't depend on me to get you there. Praise the Lord. I can't do it. I got enough for me. And that's Jesus. I got enough grace sufficient for this day, he said, for me. And praise God, you got yours, and I got mine. Praise the Lord. But I can pray for you. I can do everything I can. But I can't save you. Help you along the way. But I can't save you. Give you good advice, but I can't save you. Don't, I don't want that. I want to be able to come to the throne boldly. Boldly to the throne of grace. To be able to call out upon him. Knowing that he loves me, that he'll forgive me. Praise the Lord. I love you. Don't you want to? Listen. There's one in there. Meekness. Meekness. That's a power. Under authority. Meekness. Don't you want that? Huh? Don't you want that? Don't you want meekness? You know, Jesus is God. At any time, he could have called out. If he was laying there and there putting in big spikes in his hands for you and for me, at any time, he had the power. Now, he had the power to call down 12 legions of angels. All of them that, that, that he, all of them there could have come down if he wanted to. Everything to get him out of there. But no, he laid down for you. Don't you want meekness? Goat, you probably whoop a few people. Too. You probably whoop a few. Huh? You don't have to. And you can walk away and say, Lord, forgive them. They know not what they do. Oh, my God, you won. You won. Victory is yours. Hashtag love wins. Praise God. Praise the Lord. That's where it's at. That's when you win. When you do it God's way. The God drive will take you there. Praise the Lord. And temperance. Temperance. People have a problem with temperance. They can't do it. They can't do it. I gotta lash back. I gotta say certain things. I gotta do it this way. No, you don't. No, you don't. Temperance. That's self control. Self control. Don't you realize when you ain't got temperance, you ain't even got control of yourself? What's that mean? Somebody's got control of you. And it's the devil. Whether you want to believe me or not, no, it's just me messing up. It's the devil. He's got control then. Because of self-control comes from God. Self-control comes from God. Why? Because he created you in his image and in his likeness. He himself will give you self-control. Praise God. If you ain't got him, you ain't got self-control. If you ain't got it, you can't. The devil's got you. The devil's got control of that. And you need temperance in your life. What's that going to stop? Temperance. Self-control, it's going to keep you from doing a lot of things you should have done 10 years ago. It's going to keep you from driving in the things that you drove in 10 years ago. Honey, it's going to stop. I've always had a say. The next word out of your mouth. Start something or end something. And most of the time when you keep your mouth shut, that just ends it. But if you ain't got temperance, your mouth ain't going to stay shut. I know this tongue here, it's unruly. Man can't tame it, but God can. I believe with all my heart, he can stop it. He can make the very teeth he made bite it and stop that from blurring out. And he can. I know he can. He's done it before. you got to have that in your life. You ain't going to get that. If you're trying to get all this without Jesus, if you're trying to get all this without Jesus, the reason I keep going to this cross, I ain't a worshiper. I'm, the reason I keep going to that cross is because that's where it was all defeated at. 
everything that I mentioned tonight that you need in your life, He went there and had bloodshed so you could have it in your life. That's why I'm so determined. That's why I know. That's why that drive is in me that I could have all of them and that I got all of them in my life. I claim every one of them. Every one of them. And praise the Lord. I don't want to cut myself short on nothing that He promised me, that He died for me for. You can have them all, every one of them, if you want it tonight. It's up to you. You can do it. But you've got to have this Holy Ghost and far that's in you. Holy Ghost and far. I'm going to read this. I didn't get to explain it good. I couldn't. But this is where I was talking about that they died. Forty years old was I when Moses was forty. Servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesha Baron to espy out the land. And I brought him word again that is, it was in mine heart. It was in his heart. Think about that. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. He wholly, even though the, the others didn't want to go, he still followed the Lord. Followed him. Followed the Lord all the way. And Moses swear on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance. Promise, thine inheritance. Moses, there was, a, there was a prophet coming in the likeness of Moses, just like him. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Promised you something that I preached to you tonight that about this love and this joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness, praise the Lord, meekness, and temperance. He pre all this. Jesus said you could have it. Just as Moses told him that his feet was going to tread, that was his inheritance, he was going to be there one day. That's his. Because thou hast wholly followed the Lord thy, my God. But you've got to follow him. And now behold, the Lord hath kept me alive. Listen to this. And he said these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now I am this day fourscore, and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was the day Moses sent me. As the day Moses sent him over to spy. He was as strong that day. Never lost nothing because he kept staying in the Lord's ways. Stay believing, praise the Lord, what he is doing. Get this vision in your heart. Get it in your vision tonight of where you can go with this. If you want to, Joshua, seen it. I seen it, praise God. I heard it. Faith come by hearing and hearing of the Word of God. You gotta hear it tonight. Praise the Lord. Yet as I am strong this day as I was the day that Moses sent me. And my strength was then as even so my strength now. For war both to go out and to come in. He was warring and fighting, doing everything all this time. Now therefore give me this mountain whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest. In that day how Anamica were there and that the cities were great and fenced and so be the Lord will be with me and then I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. The Lord said we could have it. You'll be able to drive all this stuff out of your life. All this hate and all this temper that you got and all these problems, this envy and strife. He'll be able to drive it all out if you'll just keep following him. you got to keep following him, praise the Lord. Got one more thing here. Oh, it's good, Aunt. I love the Lord. Lord have mercy. Where you at, Joshua? The Lord's good. Come here. Where you at, Josh? I know you're here somewhere. Oh, I love all of you. And the Lord's good, Aunt. Sure, I can't hardly see this Bible. Here it is. I found it. 476. Right here. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gilead. And Caleb, the son of, here's both of them. Come over here. <laughs> Joshua and Caleb here. The son of Judah, the Kenite, said, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God concerning me, and thee in condition barren. Forty years old was I. Here he is. Over here telling this again. Forty years old was I. 
when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Abarim to espy out the land, and I brought him word again, and it was as it was in my heart. Your story ain't gonna change. <laughs> from from testimony to testimony, your story ain't gonna change. It ain't gonna flop around. It's gonna be the same. His testimony that was in his heart. What's in your heart? Praise the Lord. Well, glory. Nevertheless, my brother, then went up with, went up with me, made the heart of thy people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. <laughs> And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord thy God. And now, now behold, the Lord hath kept me alive and said these forty and five years. I ain't reading the same thing, am I? Am I? Well, praise the Lord. That's all right. That's all right. Alive, and he said these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain whereof the Lord spake in that day, for he heard us in that day how that Anamica were there and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me. I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. Listen, you can have this tonight. You can do it. Listen, you, but you got to give up. You got to give it to Jesus. You got to take and you can't. You got to start. We got to start somewhere. I had to start. Come and get a song. Let's have an altar call. If we don't start somewhere, we ain't never going to stop in the right place. When you're taking, getting your vehicle to go to Huntington, you got to start it up. you got to put it in reverse. you got to back out. you got to get it in gear. You need to get it in gear tonight. You need to do something. You're going to have to serve the Lord. You're going to have to live for Him. You're going to have to get this drive in you. And I just don't see, I didn't see this type of drive in me either, Brother Jason, 10, about 12 years ago, 10, 11, 12 years ago. I didn't see this drive, that I could ever have this, this want for the Word of God, this want for the what He wants. I didn't see that in me, but I had to have Him in me. I had to have that in me to get that. I had to have it. Come tonight. Come tonight. Come and mind the Lord. I know he's speaking to somebody. Listen, I didn't just preach tonight for lost. I preached for those that's saved also. There's people maybe in here still got a bad temper. There may be some people in here still got envy in their life. Strife. Can't stand somebody that they're around. I'm glad that that was for everybody. That ain't just for the lost. If we're sitting in here tonight and we've got that, we need to get up here. If you lost, when I was lost, I had a whole lot of that. But as I started growing in the Lord, I wanted to see that stuff leave. I wanted to see it leave. If I seen hate for somebody in my life, I wanted it to leave. If I seen envy about somebody, I wanted it to leave. Why? Because that is a chain. That's a chain the devil has on you. Holding you down. Holding you back. You need to break that chain tonight. You need to come to the Lord. you got to start somewhere. Can you come tonight? It's a real good night. Don't you want to go to heaven? Don't you? I know you've heard about heaven. I know you've heard how good it is. Uh, like I spoke a while ago, they sing about having their feet in the river, Jordan, having their feet there in the river. Uh, ain't that beautiful? Come on. Get out. I want it. Listen. I believe that's on the hall. You can have it right.
here his word comes to. The kingdom comes in here. It fills this up. It fills it up. It gives you a different look on life. It gives you life. It shows you what life's about. Because evidently life ain't where it needs to be. You're here tonight, ain't you? Ain't that right? If the life out there was what I needed, I would have never come into a church house. I would have never acknowledged the name of the Lord. I wouldn't have needed it. But you know you need it tonight. That's why you're here. Can you come? Can you do it? Can you do it? I don't care who you have to deal with for the day. The Lord will give you that peace. He'll give you that patience with that.
You ain't going to make it without it. You can't go without Jesus. He's the drive. You've got to let him behind the wheel, holding the reins of your life. you got to let him have it. You can't do it yourself. You won't fix it. You won't do nothing. You'll keep going and going until you're laying there on your deathbed, baby, if you make it that far. Able to be in your conscience on your deathbed, huh? Then I can't read nowhere in her that proves that you get saved there. I can't read it. What are you saying, preacher? Everybody died on their deathbed with hell that's between them and the Lord. I'm just saying I can't find evidence that I can tell you tonight that you can be saved there. I ain't got no evidence in that. And without the book, I can't tell it to you. But it's up to you. Part of another. Listen. This is life. This is why we try so hard. It's why we, we're not trying. We do something. We do something. People of God, it's accomplished. The Bible promises that the words that go out ain't going to be void. It ain't. It's a doing something tonight. It's a doing something tonight. We're not trying. It's done. It's done. It's already done. Seeds already flourishing, Brother Jason. It's already planted. It just depends on what kind of ground it fell on. Huh? If it fell on some good ground, we're going to see some evidence of people repenting and getting baptized. Can you come tonight? Can you do it? As they sing part of another, can you do it tonight? Can you do it? Here's another chance for you to pray if you didn't get to pray. Can you do it tonight? 